What's going on, my sexy YouTubers? Welcome back to Rig 365. My name is Rig, and this is your channel. And good morning, guys. It is uh, 5.30 in the morning for me. But for you, it might be uh, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and please subscribe to the channel, all right? So today I'm going to talk to you guys. This is my uh, video number two, I believe, or three. When it comes to cybersecurity, I'm not going to put numbers on it. I'm just going to put the title. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about finding the right job, okay? Uh, that I, I will go in depth on how to actually find the right job. I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly because uh, there's uh, there's there's uh, 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 concepts of each one uh, when it comes to search for the right job. To begin with, guys, there's there's a couple places. Uh, where you can actually begin your search for a for a good cybersecurity job. Okay, those uh, those websites are Indeed, LinkedIn, uh, even Facebook. If you if you really uh, uh, you wanna be uh, uh, you know out there, um, there's many companies who post their jobs. They do their job posting uh, through social media. Okay, uh, it's very rare that companies uh, use newspaper. Maybe in small towns places like that you might find one or two posts about new uh, opportunities coming up on newspapers but most of the times will be LinkedIn indeed uh, or even Facebook okay I hopefully nobody else is using Craigslist because that, that used to be a thing hey these different uh, desperate, si desperate situations requires uh, uh, cra uh, difficult you know crazy actions so um, I'm gonna give you the good guys. There's there's so many jobs out there that people just can't find enough talent to fill them in, enough qualified talent, at least with some degree of uh, with some degree of understanding. Uh, it's difficult. It's very very difficult to find people that can fill these roles. Very difficult. Uh, and you do get a lot of applicants when you have posting job job postings, but there's not many people that that meet at least half of the criteria. Um, I've been sitting to interviews, uh, I mean, for the last year, I mean, so many interviews uh, for different companies because I do help other companies recruit their, uh, their talent. Uh, and the one thing that I keep finding over and over and over and over again is that candidates, um, they put on their resume a bunch of fluff that they find in own it, <clears throat> they find in own it or whatever the case may be. Uh, and in reality, they don't have the experience. They don't have the uh, the uh, the they they can put on paper, they, but they cannot talk it. Uh, so if you cannot talk about if you cannot talk about sticking a computer, if you cannot talk about controls, security controls, if you cannot talk about a Splunk or a Nessus, if you cannot talk about any of those uh, um, um, specifics of IT, uh, don't put on your resume. You know, put in your resume exactly what you what you are exactly what you know uh, uh, that will give you a fair shot um, even for uh, even for during the interview if 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 you put something on the resume uh, and they and they cash you they say they cash you they say you got this thing three times four times on your resume can you can you talk to us a little bit about it you know can you give me can you give me a um, pre previous uh, experience when it when it comes to that can you give us a, an example of something that you did on the past that that can resemble this you know you don't have to be specific just just give me just give me an example what they're looking what, what we're looking is for you to tell us uh hey i have done it and i know what i mean you know what what are artifacts uh on 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 an ato process what what artifacts are what, what are those things you know bunch of paperwork <laughs> yeah sure uh anyway so uh i'm prepared for you for your interview all right but anyway, that's 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 the good, you know. There's so many jobs. They're gonna give you the bad. I'm gonna give you the bad. Uh, the bad is that just because there's so many jobs out there, uh, most of the companies who hire for IT, they do have requirements, and they need they need you to meet those requirements before you get hired. Okay. Uh, as an as, as an interviewer, when I when I pass your case to HR, I need to tell HR why you should be hired. Okay. The qualities that I saw, uh, the things that you know, that you should know, uh, you know, based on my assessment, I am pretty much giving you a thumbs up or thumbs down 
to the next step. Okay? Uh, and I have to be honest. I have to be honest with HR and I have to tell them HR uh, 3 out of 10. You know? And we got 10 concepts. He, he definitely, he's definitely good in 3. He has, uh, he has some clue about 2. Uh, the other 5, he has no clue. You know, I have to be honest with them. And I need to give you a score. Okay? When I give you a score, uh, uh, H, this, this is my technical uh, interview. HR will give you another point based on your military status. Or they will give you, if you, if you are retired, it's, it's retiree. Maybe you got uh, uh, a clearance or maybe you got a certification. And those things can, can, uh, can provide you with a better shot. But, but I, I, me or any interviewer has to come back to HR and give him a, should be giving them uh, an honest, honest uh, assess. Oh, plus a little nene, my babies. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you right now. Next thing I'm going to talk to you guys is um, the ugly, okay? When you start filling up your resume with things that you found online or you went and looked in somebody else's LinkedIn account and then you copy everything they have and you post it on your resume, uh, I, 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 and you put on your resume and you get called for an interview or fly to another city or state for an interview uh, and you have no idea what you're talking about. At that moment, the interviewer um, is going to blacklist you for that company because uh, the company is using resources, guys. Every time that you go into an interview uh, and somebody sit down with you, you're taking half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, away from that individual from doing something uh, productive to that company. So that means that that individual wasted one whole hour, you you, you bottle the, the, the interview, uh, inside, uh, and now this individual is pissed at you, and he's going to go back to a shirt be like, do not call this guy in ever again. This guy is, uh, is a fraud. You know? And a shirt is going to put you on a blacklist, you know? Now, this is this is why you should not do that. It's because people like us, if you if your name is Ricardo and you got my son last name, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, and your Gmail is Ricardo at gmail.com, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You you are closing so many opportunities for some other people because people can get me, people can mistake you for somebody else. Uh, so, so, <laughs> um, that's the ugly guys. Do not be fluffing, bluffing, no, 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 you know, resume. Don't be bluffing, no, no shit like that. Do your best, do your best, do your best, do your best. Put what you really mean in your, in your, in your on your resume and then, and then go kill those interviews. Okay. I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks in further, in further videos on how to do those kind of things. Okay. Now. This is this is this is something I want to tell you guys. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can start looking for these jobs, okay? And I don't want you guys to go ahead and reply right away for those jobs unless you're fully qualified for those jobs, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna put a link direct to some jobs. I'm just gonna give you like a like a like a general idea where to look, okay? Uh, I believe by next week we're gonna be talking about resumes. I'm gonna help you out build some resumes. I'm gonna help you out uh, build uh, your portfolio. I'm gonna help you out uh, with your LinkedIn account. Those are those are gonna be more um, more of a uh, of a, of a teaching uh, videos where I'm not gonna be doing it on my on my vehicle. I'll be uh, I'll be probably on my house, my desk, because uh, those are more serious videos. Okay, but uh, what I want from you guys is like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is what I want you to do in this video, guys. I want you to go into those. Uh, websites that I'm gonna show you and I want you to share with me three jobs that you're interested on okay and this is this is the thing guys if you're watching this video I'm gonna help you out not a, not I mean I don't have thousands of people commenting on my videos so for the three or four of you guys to so watch the video all the way to, to now uh, and you put the uh, those those uh, those uh, jobs that you're searching for I'm gonna take a look at those jobs the requirements the requisition, the, the the job type, X, Y, and C. And I'm gonna give you feedback on my next video. The next video, 
okay next video is gonna come to you guys on Sunday I'm gonna give you some time to some people that can watch this video and if by Sunday I don't have nobody watch the video that's okay this is gonna stay here I'm gonna make a video on Sunday I'm just gonna put generic I'm gonna put uh, most popular jobs that will fit every cyber guy out there okay help desk network I mean uh, DTA you know simple things so anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video. you got it anyway guys be good to one another uh, uh, have a blessed day bye